Snow White Seven Dwarfs have been given short shrift by Disney. They've been replaced by what are being called Seven Magical Creatures in a film that will be released next year. And these magical creatures, well, frankly, are, are not really dwarves, are they? With me now is the host of the Politics People podcast, Paul Dudridge. Paul, uh, thank you very, very much. Uh, some people are saying that this really is just a marker of, you know, unfortunately, a marginalised group getting less work to make way for, well, you know, other, other people, essentially. And they would be right to say that, absolutely, yes. Walt Disney will be spinning in his cryogenic chamber at this point. The, the, these attempts at inclusivity actually, as you've just made clear, exclude. There aren't any dwarves in this production. And yeah, actually, if you go back to the original Brothers Grimm story, it is called Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. I checked this before I came on, just seeing if this was some sort of aberration in 1931 yeah. when there was a particular insensitivity. It is Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. It's actually a part of the historical canon of fairy tales, and it's being misrepresented deliberately. The good news is, and there is actually some good news, the inclusivity executives at Disney, Netflix and Warner Brothers have all exited those companies in the last six weeks. Bob Iger has come back to Disney in November last year. Mm. This production uh, actually predated this. And so there was uh, a CEO at uh, Disney that was almost solely responsible for turning it woke. And so these people have actually all left the building now and they're left with some of these productions that are getting these headlines and they're not being particularly protected by Disney. So I think that the, the, the signs are good for the future that major corporations have got the message that they can't keep tinkering with these, things, these uh, productions in a sort of propaganda kind of way. Yeah, no, it, exactly. But the, some of these magical creatures, I mean, it basically might as well just be called Snow White and the Seven Politically Correct Companions, might not it? Because we have uh, at least three people there who uh, appear to be uh, black. There's an individual uh, there as well who looks to me to be Hispanic. We do, to be fair, have one dwarf. So that person has, has made the cut, which is good. Sorry about his six mates who've had to make way. Uh, <laughs> and we just have a couple of other people, frankly, who just look homeless. So maybe that is the niche that they are going for uh, there. But I, I do feel find it bizarre that, yes, in order to try to be more inclusive, they are now actually desperately trying to get rid of people who are marginalised as it currently stands anyway. Oh, absolutely. I mean, this is this is where the left fall over themselves, making these kind of policies. And we've had so many, I mean, in the United States, we've had so many examples of this uh, attempting to be uh, inclusive. Like there's been sort of um, company mascots taken off the cover of uh, cereal packets, etc., because they're deemed to be racist. And the only people that are actually left on the cereal packets now are white. So it, it is, it, it, look, it never it never fails to be entertaining. But there is a very real point at this. There, There is a there is this inverse uh, prejudice, if you like. It's like you're yeah. actually being excluded because but you're a dwarf. I mean, this is the, but it's this a different is the absurdity. Story. So it's called Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, which apparently is supposed to have been around some kind of, like, fair German maiden. Well, the lady who's going to play Snow White is Hispanic, and there aren't seven dwarves. So it's just a different story. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you brought this up. Rachel Zegler, who's actually playing Snow White, she was she's a brilliant actress, and she was a brilliant actress in West Side Story. And she was casting West Side Story because the original casting of the original movie before the Spielberg reboot, there's no E in my name, Dudridge, the, the, um, the, uh, before the reboot was played by Natalie Wood. And that was deemed to be, OK, look, if, it's, if we ever remake this, let's have a Latina actress in. And they did. Rachel Zegler was fantastic as Maria in the Spielberg reboot of West Side Story. Story. Yeah. So it seems reasonable that she quite rightly has benefited from culturally sensitive casting. This is right. called Snow White. The opening lines of the story is, I want my daughter to have skin as white as snow yeah. and uh, lips as red as blood. That was the whole point. Yeah, in indeed, and it has just completely changed. Paul Dudridge without an E, thank you very much, as ever, of the uh, Politics People podcast.